Joe's failure to complete his schooling as an indicator of his general character and poor attitude. This is not an improper consideration. Renfro's character is one of a repeat juvenile delinquent who was on probation at the time he committed two murders. Despite attempts by the juvenile system, Renfro has been unable to correct his behavior problems. His contradictory statements and testimony both before and during sentencing regarding the details of his crimes indicates a propensity for dishonesty and an inability to truly accept responsibility for his actions. Although we acknowledge Renfro's troubled and abusive childhood and the tragedy that a young man will spend his life in prison, his repeated poor choices and demonstrated poor character justify nothing less. Renfro has not met his burden of persuading us that the sentence imposed by the trial court is inappropriate, and we decline his invitation to reduce his sentence. The appeals court notes that the defendant agreed to aggregate sentencing when he accepted the plea bargain. And with that, in February of 2011, they affirmed the original sentence of 124 years total with parole eligibility in 2074. Ryan Renfro is currently 28 years old and is housed at Pendleton Correctional Facility in Indiana. He arrived there just eight months before the so-called Dexter killer we recently heard about, Andrew Conley. As always, thanks for joining me. Come back soon for a new and exciting episode, but for now, stay tuned for a promo. And until next time, lovelies, don't be scared. What up, Slackers? I'm Matt. And I'm Jesse. We're the host of American Slacker, a weekly show that discusses the weirdest in world events. We cover UFC, the latest in technology, Xbox games, entertainment, and music reviews. We have conversations with musicians, actors, filmmakers, and other interesting guests. Twist one up or crack one open with us every Monday to start your work week off right. That's it. There you go. Check out the Murderific True Crime Podcast, hosted by Bernadette from the state of Maine. Topics will include some seriously true scary stories about serial killers, mass murderers, familicides, the missing, and unsolved cases. Go to www.murderific.com to start listening now or anywhere you listen to podcasts. Until then... We will be executing podcasts one crime at a time. I'm Rob. I'm Slim. And I'm the Slam Bikini himself, baby! Yeah! The Rob and Slim Show is a weekly comedy show with an hour and a half of happy horseshit, followed by four half hour interviews with actors, authors, and more. Scott Bale loves us. And I smear shit on my stomach in the bathtub! Fuck yeah! Catch us live every Wednesday, 6 to 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on IPMNation.com forward slash live2 or Facebook.com forward slash Robin Slim. Or listen to the Robin Slim Show on Podbean or iTunes, baby. Yeah! I just shit my fucking pants!